Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in the SFML 2.1 tutorial series and in this part we're just going to be simply talking about what SFML is. Okay, first SFML stands for Simple and Fast Multimedia Library. It's a great lightweight and easy to pick up API for creating games and other multimedia applications. SFML is also cross-platform and works very well with desktop applications. If you are looking at mobile development I would suggest that you look at something else, maybe Cocos 2DF, maybe something else, but I was trying to steer away from SFML. Maybe in the future their mobile side will get better, probably will, but it just doesn't have the same level of support and update time that the other frameworks have. Okay, SFML was created by Lauren Gamilla, amongst a few others, and it is essentially open source and has been around for quite a few years now. A great thing about SML is that it provides really easy to use features for games such as sprites and window rendering which hides a lot of complexity. Another feature that we love about SML is how nicely it works with OpenGL as it is one of the preferred APIs to use with OpenGL features such as window rendering and input handling. Another one that is quite common is SDL. If you're looking into game development and you come across SFML for whatever reason, you may see a lot of debates, arguments, whatever you want to call it, of SFML against SDL. They do sometimes include a few other engines as well, but these are the two really common ones. And SFML does seem to be, from our opinion, from what we can see, seems to be the leader because it does seem to be getting better than SDL. Panic spells have better performance. Both are great uh, depending uh, on what your preference is. If you don't have preference, let's check it out, see what you think. SDL, uh, we found, does have better written documentation, definitely, but we're trying to fix that. We're just going to release a series of videos for SFML, so we should hopefully fix that issue with SFML. You can get SFML at sfml-dev.org, we'll just show you, sfml-dev.org, and it is completely free, and it is also free to publish games as well. We are going to be using SFML 2.1, if you click download, the, the latest version is 2.1 in this series, but this series will be all good for 2.0 for the most part, obviously, because 2.1 is different to 2.0 in certain areas, it has been slightly updated there may be the odd thing that may not work, but it should be all good for the most part. 1.6, which if you have a look here, if we, actually if we just go back, it says right here, 1.6, uh, we won't be obviously doing a series for that most likely, plus also this series, though you can sort of use it for 1.6 and adapt it, unless you have a particular reason, use 2.0, uh, and yeah, that's it really. And one thing I just want to say before you start this series or continue with this series, make sure you're comfortable with C++ because we're going to be using C++ and I'm not really going to be explaining a lot of the C++ stuff necessarily. We, we may mention it uh, here and there if we're doing something, but this isn't to learn C++. This is to learn SFML. We have an entire tutorial series with over 70 tutorials for C++. There'll be a link to that series in the description so you can check that out. That is it for this part, we just wanted to talk about what SFML is. In the next part we're going to be looking at setting up SFML on Windows. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support at The email will be in the, in the description, you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.